Well, I just got a few minutes left here on this hide. Just trying to take care to make sure that I get all the lips on. So, let's see what he looks like. Call him and get him prepped. That right there. My gray wolf. Gray wolf skinning project complete. Hangs about seven and a half feet, I guess. Now what we'll do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hide and I'm gonna prep it. Comb it, brush it, and then take and uh, get it ready for the deep freeze. Is there another day? I'm just gonna grab a Coyote skull and put it beside this critter. Again, this is kind of, I find this pretty interesting when we, when a guy looks at the size difference. That's just a lot more dog, a lot more dog than the coyote. I don't know, I'm not very good at this computer business here, but I'm going to try to format this thing so I can kind of compress it into one video. And yeah, that's my uh, 2017 Grey Wolf skinning video. And uh, as much as I've talked about the color of the animal, it did, uh, it did, uh, it did get a little bit green. And I saw that it, uh, it had... Uh, green right at the chest I don't know it's I guess it traps a lot of heat in there and uh, not exactly sure why that is but hopefully we got her salvaged and I can see too by that catch yeah it was kind of the way that I he was kind of froze up a little bit curled up but it got him a little ways back on the neck and there was a little bit of fluid in there but it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad and I would say considering the fact that he got caught that far back that's uh, that uh, could have been a, could have been worse and I don't know if that's testament to uh, Marty Seneca's killer st kill uh, stinger kill spring invention but it uh, it worked out really well this particular wolf looks like it's very, very healthy. 
Its bottom teeth are its bottom teeth are slightly chipped, but its uh, incisors there they're they're just pretty much in perfect condition. Caught him in his prime. You bet. That's it. That's the wolf skin and video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, give me your feedback. Let me know. Let me know kind of how you see me maneuvering around and and uh, going from one point to another. I know today it was a little bit of an adventure trying to take and uh, capture a little bit on video. Um, but yeah, a person always wants to take and be efficient and uh, end up with with a fur that is. Um, you know, you always want to have your fur condition be as good as you can and not have it be suspect to, uh, to, um, to damage and, and uh, anomalies from uh, skinning and fur handling. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hope you guys are having fun out there.